Well, ningetaka ya kwanza kukuguza wananchi wa Kenya tuendelee kuunga serikali mkono through our president eh luto kwa sababu mikakati ambayo anaye we must be patient kuna mambo ya mikakati mingi amepanga ambaye mimi nilikuwa kama mzee can tell you in Kenya we have future future itakuja nzuri na ninaomba watu tufanye bidii the president cannot change this country kama sisi wenyewe hatuwezi shikana pamoja na kumuunga mikono tushikana mikono tumuunge tumuunge mipangilio yake na niombe sana watu wa kutoka najita sifa society wengine ni watu wa makanisa ningeomba sana sisi wote tuko nchi ya Kenya tufanye amani tukuwa pamoja because nasikia watu kama sivyo zamani wanasema hii nchi ni kama iko na wasiwasi hakuna wasiwasi iko tuko sawa sivyo society wale wanaokaruka na kusema ati innocent jina innocent people have been killed kwani hamuna macho muone destruction ile inafanywa ile vitu wote inabomolewa nyinyi amuoni hiyo hata kidogo and that one it's not in your sight kuona you must be fair fair for all sides sasa mkisema ati watu innocent what do you mean by innocent nani anabomoa hizo nyumba nani anabomoa leli nani anabomoa pala pala are those not offenses nyinyi muko kuchunga watu kwa njia gani if you cannot tell people the truth Demonstration si kuiba vitu ya watu. Tumeona demonstration imekuwa ni shida kubwa ya kubomoa vitu ya watu. Urooting. Hata imamu unasema ya kuwawa. Watu wenyewe kama wakidefendi hao wenyewe kwa sababu ya mali kuharibiwa. It will bring chaos in this country. Umeona Lady Odinga amesimamisha mambo ya demonstration kwa sababu amelia rais vitu ya watu inaharibika zaidi hiyo sio demonstration ya kawaida lakini mimi na mtu mkosoa ninaona sasa anaanza kuchangisha pesa ya ile watu walikupa that's it. those are just also politics how do they die you cost the death of those people wewe mwenyewe if you not call for demonstration those people could not have died it happened another time na ukafanyisha mchango na hii kufikia wale watu waliathiriwa so is this a system ufanye namna hiyo ili uweze kupata pesa because i don't understand why you can cause death urudi wewe utengeneze huyo utachangia watu kuachangia watu hata wakipata pesa fulani na maisha ya watu ambayo walipotea it is too different thing they cannot be paid you cannot pay the life of somebody when he is dead ningeomba tuwe na amani tufanye nchi yetu irudi pamoja na nishukuru watu wetu wa Rift Valley wameweka peace tuko na mahindi ya kutosha maharaga tumetoa kwa shamba wakati hawa na demonstrate sisi tulikuwa tunafanya kazi kwa shamba na mtapata mahindi na mtapata hiyo mtu mwingine excuses ya Lila Odinga leo ni hii kesho ni hii kesho kutwa ni hii leo ile yako naye sasa anataka kuongoza kutafuta sympathy ya watu wameuawa na uwa na nani you are the cause of this death na ikifika mambo yamekuwa moto unakuwa mgonjwa homo na jifungia kwa nyumba auleti watoto wako hapo mpe rais yetu nafasi yeye sio rais ya Kenya kwanza yeye ni rais wa nchi hii ya Kenya hiyo ni basi ile alitumia lakini ukiona vile ameweza kusambaza makazi kwa kabila zote za Kenya hana ukabila I can assure and I can tell you that Adam kujaribu kujishikilia kitu gani mpangilio ile yako naye na mikakati mzuri na mimi nashukuru na ningetaka kusema uhuru former president endelea kuhubiri amani tokea uhubiri amani hata wewe hakuna mtu kuna shida na wewe lakini ulikuwa former president for 10 years given by Kenyans 
tunakuomba ukuo kiongoza mambo ya peace maneno yako iandamane na peace lakini sio vita na chuki wachana na dina udinga na siku moja nilikwambia atakupaka mafi utanuka na yeye anajua habari ya kujiosha haraka sana na hiyo ndio kazi ya dina udinga na nilifanya tweet yangu na nikalia sana ikisema dina udinga wachana na mtoto wetu ni kwa sababu nilijua atakuwa libu na nikaomba na nikalia wakati tulitwita washenzi Be repeating my clips, you'll be seeing many things which I've been saying. Inji hii ni yetu sisi wote. Tuwe na amani. Inji hii kiaribika, the person who natapoteza zaidi, ni weo huru mwikei kenyata. And it is a theater like a minute, like Rwanda. It can become just like that. And it can bring problem. Media to say the end, kuhubili amani. Mkutawa kujiunga na demonstration na mamboja ingine, ni sawa. Lakini, tuhubili amani. Amani is the priority. Hata hizo media, hata Twitter, hata sisi wote, matajiri, maskini, tukialibu inchi tutaingia shida sisi wote. And I hope Kenya siwa meona. We can use other method ya mambo ya kuangazia mambo ya leko na shida. Lakini tuzishike fungua sawa, mara ni hii, mara ni kule ilibiwa, mara ni hii, mara ni hii, mara watu wamekufa tena sasa, ni muwaza mambo ingine, tutaendelea mpaka siku gani kujenga nchi yetu ya Kenya We can build this country when we are together all of us na tuheshimia na tumalisha ukabila It is a shame kwa mtu kama Kalonzo Musyoka and I don't know ni nini nasumbua kwa kichwa yake Yeye ni mkabila namba moja. Iko siku aliyataki mkikuyu kwa sababu alikuwa ana interview yeye Sasa juzi ya mesema, and I hope there are people who can go in the court. Na watu, wali, wala, watu wanaitaji kuweka amani inchi pia waangalie. Kawazo mwuseo kana toke na sama atelia subali ilikuwa na kimbia wakati ilikuwa na demonstration, atelikuwa na uwa watu, ilikuwa na kabila moja. That's a very bad statement. That is incitement in a high level. Na watu ya hima naeti kiwa sumuza hiyo. Watu ya commission ya peace, ya sikiwa akizumuza hiyo. Ni nini ingine muna sema muna gadget ya, ku, ya, ku, ya kushika watu wa kionga. Hey, this one is in the media. Been seen by everybody. Ati yoga ni likuwa na kabila moja. Where were you? Ni ujua likuwa na kabila moja. Were you in that, in that car? So uangalia mtu kwa bali utajua kabila hake? Hiyo ni incitement ya hali ya juu sana wea kanozo musio kwa unafanya. Incitement of this country umekuwa vice president umekuwa wakili what are you trying to incite Kenya Kenya ikiungua hata wewe utakuwa ndani kila mtu atakuwa ndani hata mimi nitakuwa ndani tuweke amani mtu ajitafutie kwa haki yake mimi naona hasa wafundi imeenda sasa hiyo almost 30 million ile watu wanafikia hiyo pesa na hiyo sisikii watu wakizungumza uzuri ya mambo hayo inasaidia vijana inasaidia mama mama mboga Na wala wanafanya demonstration wengine wameomba hiyo pesa. Na hiyo pesa raizu wetu wameifungua every tribe in this country. Every Kenyans in this country. Every phone na muziko na simu anakopa hiyo pesa. Those good things cannot be mentioned. Kuandikisha walimu milio, eh, 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 30,000 na wengine wanaandikishwa saa hii. Kuandikisha asikali kwa forest. Mambo hii yote na kuwa created. Hakuna mtu wanaizungumuzia. And that's the creation of youth. Wanapata hiyo kazi. Na isu wetu don't be frustrated by anybody. You had a dream and you have a dream. Elekesha dream yako inataka kuwaribua na watu kwa sababu wanaona ukiena na mnaimi ya katano inchi ya Kenya itapinduka na watakosa na fasi ya kuongea. That's why wanajaribu kuletea mambo ya propaganda. Be focused. Niludie na nimesema kwa nini yangu mara mingi sana. Laisi uliyapa kwa mambo matatu. Kaya ni kikuludia hiyo maneno. Kuchunga constitutions yetu. Yani katiba. Ile ya kutulinda sisi wote. Ya pili, mali yetu. Ya tatu, security. I want to say, we also have to support the police. Na nimesema polisi wakikoma siku moja diyo mdajua kasi ya polisi ni nini. 
Uwezi kuwa unaenda kuwa insote ili unapigwa na mayo, unapigwa na nini, wanachoma manyumba, wanaruti maduka. Na wanakupiga na mawe, that you don't defend yourself. Na inashukuru kwa sababu raisi ya nikujua, through intelligent yake wote, kuna watu walikuwa na mabuduki ya kupea watu kufanya hiyo kazi. Ninaomba, watu wajue, haa watu wako na mabuduki, wako na grunete, wako na tear gas, mimi naomba serikali mfuatilie kwa makini msaidie nchi yetu ya Kenya na mngokoe nchi hii kwa sababu hao watu wako na and they can do any propaganda hakuna yeyote kufanya hata tia guys kutupa kwa mashule kutupa kwa watoto they can do anything we know them they are history so tuweke amani ili watu wetu mpaka wale wako nje waache uzuni international watu wako na uzuni wanafikiri nchi hii imeingia moto but i want to tell you the president is the control our policemen they are in control la ya wale wamejua ku defend vitu zao they are in control and that's we are saying this should be the end of demonstration it should be the end of the demonstration na nini ngauliza let's not deal with the outsider let's deal with the people who are involved on this kwa sababu watu wa Azimio, propaganda wako namba moja. Yona senator wakakamega. Hile mambu wanaongea. Let me tell you. Nobody. Hako na more information. Yona wakiongea kwa citizen SV kwa NTV. Yo, just mochi watu wakiongea. Just full of propaganda. Hakuna mtu naongea mambu ya amani. Hakuna mtu naongea kuweka inchi yetu kwa kukulisha ekonomi. Hakuna. Na wewe ni mtu mzima na unazungumza mambo unajua ukweli it's not true. Lakini unataka kuendesha na upoe nafasi kwa media kwa nini uongee mambo ya uongo. Uongo haitamaliza shida zetu. Propaganda haitamaliza shida zetu za Kenya. Ile kumusa lile odinga ajue watu walichagulwa kulingana na katiba. So MCA the governor to the president walichagudua kulingana na utaratibu wa katiba mkijaribu tutoke nje ya constitution ukazungumzie nje tutumlinga sarato problem mimi nauliza wachungaji wana kutoa ma statement katolia kama kazi zingine atoa statement wala ma watu wengine wakitoa ma pastors kisumu wakitoa statement na mimi nashangaa hii statement wanatoa wakuu wa kizungu ukisikia vile wanaongea wanaongea mambo ya pande moja hata wana defend president former president you are defending in which way nobody has interest ya kumisha former president ama watoto yake no but the truth must be said kama hii wachungaji na mnaweka kana na hiyo vitu mingi mingi na mnaweza kuzunguza mambo ya uongo misleading kenyans Bibiye imesema ule atamisiridi mtu kujua Mwenyezi Mungu atawekwa chuma kwa shingo that is the bible don't talk about the things which you don't know wengine nasikia kama wale walitoa catholic i respect the catholic highly lakini nasikia wakisema wanataka uhuru na ruto akae chini wazunguze mnataka wazunguze nini simulitengeneza mambo ya kuzunguza mazunguzo kutoka pande ya Kenya kwanza na azimio hao wakagomea come with the agenda mnataka nini izungumuziwe kama nyinyi mabishop wa catholic mnataka nchi hii igawanywe mara mbili then just come and say the agenda we have it is this so people can understand because me i don't understand na kama kuna kitu ya kufanya hata wakae chini wazungumuze wakiwa pamoja then come with the agenda luto mambo ya shida nchi hii Hajakataa kuzungumzia lakini nimerudia na nimerudia tena yeye ndio anasimamia katiba yetu katika Kenya ile kiapo alikula watu ya Catholic tunajua mkishagua bishop the system wenye mnatumia tunajua mkitumia kila kitu yote mnatumia katiba yenu mkichagua pope tunajua utaratibu na mkichagua pop mkitupa kura 
ikimalizika muna paswaga hizo zote kule ambayo mlikuwa mmepiga kule hizo zote ili isitulikane ni nani alimpigia na nani hakumpigia ili kanisa ikae ikae ikiwa pamoja that's what you do sasa hii mnazunguza mambo ya saba ni saba gani mnataka ifungulie mshaona mkifungua white smoke ikitoka wakati mwashagua pop mshasikia watu wakisema burudie rudieni mkitoa white smoke hamjasikia mtu akisema ibudue mnafumilia hiyo wale walishindwa uchagua pop na wale walipigia pop mnakaa kwa amani nyinyi yote na kuna zenu mnachoma isijulikane hata kuna mtu alipigia pop na kuna yule hakumpigia sijui kama mnakuwaga na saba baada ya hiyo i don't think there is saba nyinyi mabisho na mujue every church iko na constitution yake katiba ya kanisa wewe ukiwa ni wa catholic ukioa wewe unatoka catholic pca wako taratibu yao na itakuwa mtaratara kwa kikuyu in the other church iko naye si tuna constitution what we are saying kama mnatungumzia mambo ya kuweka amani first mweke amani mkielekesha kwa constitution ya Kenya ile rais aje hapa naye unajua kumwagiwa mafuta Mungu anakuwa na hiyo uongozi usijaribu kumisread people based in the constitution na mseme vile mnataka kwa hiyo katiba mambo yote yanazungua pandile hiyo hamuna haja naye ate watu wanakuwa demonstration wanauawa innocent the word innocent yani yeye hamuna macho mnaona demonstration hiyo inafanywa kubomoa vitu vya watu na kumbe there was nothing demonstration is looting wa mama wanalia wanakaa hapo wakilia they have nothing mpaka nguo ya watoto ya uniform chakula nini they say we makanisa mtaweza kusaidia ya kuweza kuzungumzia njia kama kuna shida gani lakini si mara unasema ni hii, hii mambo ni kwa sababu ya hakuna chakula sijui mara hakuna hii it is in the whole world that I've been saying that sasa yuko anikudia mafuta Britain Australia inatoka nini Tanzania inatoka nini Uganda inatoka nini let's be ourselves let's not incite people this country we can only build when we are together keep peace ili tuweze kuendelea mbele kwa hii mambo ile iko mbele yetu ya economy na kila kitu msiweke pressure rais wetu ambaye ile mambo mnalete lazima iwe na utaratibu na yeye anafuata hiyo utaratibu mimi naomba wana Kenya watu wa makanisa ile watu wanakuwa akinsite watu hata wanatetea watu haki za watu you are inciting instead of putting people together mimi naomba watu tujifikirie mara ya pili kama hujaokoka muokoke mara ya pili tulinde inchi yetu ya Kenya na tufumilie I mean I God bless Kenya. God bless the president and the leadership. Viongozi ambao walichaguliwa. Kwa sababu wale walichagua yeye. Ukiona MP ambaye anafanya vibaya, angalia kio utajiona ndani kwa sababu wako jichagua. Ni yeye mlichagua. Ukiona kama na mbaya, angalia kio uko ndani. Ukiangalia ile hizo unafikiria ni mbaya, jiangalie kwa kio kwa sababu alichaguliwa na nyinyi na alichagua kwa haki kulingana demokrasia all the time angalia kio ujione ukijiona you respect all those people ili tuweze kufanya kazi pamoja god bless kenya god give us peace and we are praying this knowing mungu atatusaidia kwa sababu anatusikia na anatupenda let's not waste time tuende kazini tufanye kazi kwa bidii mungu atubariki sisi wote kwa kenya Ah, tu é que a pandemia. Thank you.